among the many satisfied spectators as Reuben Hurricane Carter and James Ellis hear the buzz buzzer warning them that round nine is coming up. There has been one knockdown in the fight so far. Ellis was down from a hard right near the end of the fourth round. Carter, the black trunks, Ellis and White. I've been watching Reuben Carter for two years now, and I don't remember him. Don't remember his ever throwing a left jab, but he's thrown a very effective jab tonight. Added to his arsenal of that dynamite left and hard-hitting right, make him much more potent in the future. Ellis got off good in the first couple of rounds, but solid body punching by Carter seems to have slowed him down a lot. In addition to being down on the canvas from a right to the head in the fourth. It was a flash knockdown though, if you joined his lady, bounced right up. Lascalzo trying to get a little more action out of the battlers. Most of the clinching is done by Ellis. Now the crowd is voicing some dissatisfaction with the performance. Alice just got in a good right hand with one minute to go in round nine. Alice looks up at the clock, 30 seconds to go. seconds to go in round nine. There's the bell. Up to round ten here at Madison Square Garden. James Ellis being sent out to battle by his manager Bud Gruner. Ellis in the white trunks from Louisville, Kentucky, weighing 155 and three quarters. He's very tall. He's six feet one. Hurricane Carter, Patterson, New Jersey, 157 and a quarter, stands five feet eight. Referee Joe Lascalzo. One knockdown scored by Carter near the end of the fourth round, a flash knockdown. see that Carter works between fights. A tremendously improved fighter. And he's fighting a hard man to fight tonight. Man who's all arms and elbows, a very crafty boxer, this Ellis, with a pretty good punch himself. Two minutes left in the fight, two minutes in this 10th round.
scoring here in New York on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even on an official's card. They're in Carter's corner. There is one minute left in the fight. Thirty seconds left now. They banged heads together there. I don't know if you could hear it. I could hear it. Practically over now. There will be no knockout. There's the bell ending the fight between Reuben Carter and James Ellis. We'll have the decision in just a minute. Judge Jimmy Riccio has a 6-3, one even Carter. Referee Joe Lascalzo, 7 2, 1 even, Carter. The other judge, Frank Forbes, 7 to 3, Carter, winner by unanimous decision, Reuben Hurricane Carter. Reuben Hurricane Carter retains his high ranking in the middleweight division, outpointing Jimmy Ellis, and Carter has now won 19 of his 23 fights, remains a threat to anyone. Be at television ringside next Friday night and enjoy the 10-round heavyweight match between Ernie Terrell and Gerhard Zeck from Madison Square Garden on the Fight of the Week. Produced by Hugh Beach. Directed by Marshall Diskin. Associate Director Bill Lilling. Technical Director Lou Marchand. Stay tuned now for Make That Spare, which follows immediately over most of these A, B, C stations. Until next Friday, this is Don Dunphy saying good night for your hosts, Gillette, maker of the slim, adjustable razor. The incomparable new Gillette stainless steel blades, foamy shaving cream, right guard power spray deodorant, and sun up aftershave. And William Penn, the cigar with the special combination of taste and mildness, and Tipperillo's, America's neat new smoking favorite.